There are thousands of Little Leagues spread across the entire world. In fact, over 2.4 million kids play Little League baseball. And guess where it all started? Right here in Williamsport. This field looks better now than it ever did. It looks better than when oh. I played here, doesn't it? 87-year-old Bill Bear remembers when Little League Baseball was born 75 years ago. Today it may take him a little longer to round the bases, but he's been there plenty of times, being Little League's first ever batting champion, hitting 462 in 1939. We cut down trees, pulled stumps, picked up stones, rake, brought in topsoil, and made a first-class Little League field. 20 years later, Jim Collins earned the Little League honor when he hit an incredible 524. This, this is the batting t title that I won in 1958. Like so many old timers who learned Little League baseball in Williamsport, coming here is like coming home. Well, it's, it's like the holy grail of baseball. That's why I learned to play. Jim's grandfather, Matt McCloskey, was a real Little League pioneer, donating bats, balls, gloves, and inventing the world's first electric scoreboard control. This was the first electric scoreboard in all baseball history. So he invented this gadget here where he could turn switches and the lights would come on in the scoreboard showing the count and the score. And it worked. People from the Boston Braves found out about it and sent a couple of guys down here to get some plans and specifications. He gave them the plans. Gave them, no patents. Well, we're proud that it started here. America's Little League pastime is rich in history, saved and preserved in the minds of those who went to bat first. My grandfather's a treasurer and statistician. Jim's grandfather announced over 1,300 consecutive games right here. He even announced Little League's only non-completed game. When the Japanese surrendered and World War II. The game was stopped and he's got it in the scorecard. At 7.05 the game was called. The only game that was ever stopped in the middle and not completed. It's been four years since Jim and Bill last met. 20 years separate their Little League memories. Shall you slide just, and I'll call you safe. Shall we just walk to home plate? <laughs> yeah. How's that? Yep. It's amazing all the history you find here at the birthplace of Little League. In fact, on this very field, 12 Little League World Series games were played. In Williamsport, Chris Matthews, 8 Sports Now.